Hi there, it's Richard from OnSite Solutions. Uh, in this training video, we're going to be looking at the hierarchy, which is a dynamic navigation uh, tree. Um, so uh, to create a hierarchy, um, we have to set it up underneath services. Uh, so there's a hierarchy service here. Um, and to view the hierarchy, you need to go down to uh, this area here, where, it's, uh, where you go to view your hierarchies. So there's nothing in there at the moment. I haven't set any up. But what we're going to be doing is using my tags that I've added to my station. So I've added, um, uh, just for this demonstration, a couple of uh, fan core units. There's not, it's just a blank wire sheet, but it's uh, this, this uh, actual folder here. I've added some tags to there. So this one I've added some geographical uh, tags, a couple of marker tags. These are string tags. So um, we, we put the, the query would be uh, O Geo County and the result would be Hampshire. Okay, so um, it's whatever text you put in there. So I'll show you how they work in a minute. But basically, I've uh, I've set all of these up with the correct tags on them. So when I set my hierarchy up, it should it should work. So um, let's go and set a hierarchy up. Let's just go for a very very basic hierarchy first. So um, we need to open up the high um, palette for the hierarchy. And there's a few rules to how these um, we use these uh, level definitions. These are our queries, and there's a rule to how they work. Um, so by def by for for the hierarchy to work at all, you have to have at least one query level definition or one relation level definition. So that's a, so you have to have at least one of the top two there. Uh, a group level definition um, will create a new branch to the result tree um, so um, that's where you'd have more like a geographical kind of hierarchy and a list will create a list and a named group goes in a list so that would be part of the list so um, the first thing you have to add is a list if you want to create a list uh, sorry the first thing you have to add is a list level, level definition and then on top of that you add a name group uh, definition on top of the list level definition it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, so to start a hierarchy, you have to drop a, a hierarchy component onto your hierarchy service. So I'm just going to do a very, very s simple um, hierarchy initially. And it's going to be my points. So um, if I go to my quick search and just do an N point, um, so N being the Niagara namespace n colon um, so every point on my station has got um, an endpoint uh, tag on it by default it's an implied tag that's been added um, using a niagara tag dictionary so there's a list of what if i do a, that's just doing a search so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do the same thing but this time put it into a query so all of this is the most basic type of uh Hierarchy. So I'm now going to add a query level definition to my point hierarchy, um, and in in the double click on the query, and in the query, I'm just going to put endpoint. Okay. So now, um, if I go down to my hierarchy, if I unfold it, it hasn't changed. So every time you make a change to a hierarchy, you have to right click on it and refresh it. So that's where you do it on the hierarchy, not not on the um, not here. Um, so now um, I've, it's worked. If I double click on it, it's a list of all my points on my station um, using that n, n colon point query. Okay, so it's a very basic one. So now if I set one up for my, my fan core units, um, so I, I need to add another hierarchy. This time I call it fan core units. Okay, so now I'm going to add a group level definition to this. And my, I don't need to rename that. But my group level definition, I need to put a query in there. So this would be, um, so I, I've added these uh, one site solution um, tags, which are um, geo uh, address I can use. Um, and then I have to have at least a query. So I'm going to do this step by step so you can see what's happening. Um, so on here, I'm going to just going to put a fan core unit, um, O fan core unit. So 
when I'm going to look at the results now and refresh my tree, I've got a fan crew in it. It's come up with the, the forge, the building, um, and then it's come up with all my fan crew in it. So I've only got four, one, two on the ground floor, two on the first floor. So it's found these tags on these folders there. And so it's using, um, so I've looked for this geo address and it's found the forge there. So because they've all got the same text in them, they've all, um, they've all been in the, uh, they've all come up in, in underneath the forge. So if I go back to my query and, um, just change it slightly. So if I just duplicate my group level definition and now I'm going to just change that query to geo floor. Now I have to reorder, um, my, quit my hierarchy because so right click on uh, the, the hierarchy say reorder and move my group up above the query query it always has to end in a query level definition so it's always there is a, a rule to um, setting the order up correctly in these hierarchies as well so now if i refresh my tree again so if i go to fan query units now i've got the forge and then i've got the two floors um, and the two on the first floor are underneath the first and two underneath the ground floor um, are on the ground floor. So that's worked because, um, in fact, if I show you something, uh, I, on, if you right click on config and go to views, you can go to the metadata browser and then you can navigate to these, um, the ground floor and the first floor. And you can see the tags I've put on there. So they've all got a marker tag, fan core unit. They've all got, um, so these two have got ground tags on them and these have got first they've all got the forge they've all got yately hampshire i didn't use those but um you can see how that's worked now so this is a good place to go and view where you've uh, got you can only see direct tags here uh, tags that have been added directly not implied tags underneath the uh, metadata browser okay so the last one then i'll just do a quick list hierarchy so um again go to my services to my hierarchy service and add another hierarchy so um i won't bother renaming this one just yet because i'm not sure what to call it but on this one now i'm going to add a list level definition so just drop it up at your, your nav sidebar um, and on this left le list level definition i'm going to add a name group And I do have to rename that. I should have renamed that then. So this might be my alarms. Okay. And in, inside this name group, um, level definition, it's looking for a query. So if you go to, um, your alarm console and right click on it and look at the tags, if you go and look at the implied tags, you've got an N colon type alarm console. If I just copy this text in this box, I can't copy the whole thing. Um, and just put that in there as a query. So it's an implied tag. Uh, and then you have to put equals, open speech mark, uh, paste that into there. Okay, so now um, it's, it should bring back um, my alarm consoles. If I have more than one, it would just look at the type. It's, so it's only looking at the type, not the name. Um, uh, so that's going to be my alarms. And if I duplicate that, so I could put uh, well, so schedules. Now on my schedules, I've added um, one site tags to them. So I can change this query on my schedule. O schedule. Um, and then one final one. I can put my boiler points. So this is just an example. You can pretty much do a query on most things. Um, so my boiler points, uh, I've added a, a smart tag dictionary, which are adding all these points. So they're going to be implied ones, but they're just adding boilers, uh, boiler tags in the SDD um, dictionary. Um, and now if I, I again, I remember, remember the rules, I have to add a query level definition or a relation level definition for this to work. So this level uh, query level has to have something which is common to all of these results. So um, if you did have one query which would uh, is, is uh, common to all these results, you could just put that in there. 
I don't have that. So um, what you can do is if I just copy this one, go back to my query level de definition, what I can do is just put the um, syntax or between each one. So copy all of these, copy that one as well. It's just it's a bit of a cheat really, but um, it's a nice quick way of doing it. And then do another or, and do my final boiler points one, which was um, SDD boiler. So I can type that in. Um, so it's a STD, oops, STD boiler. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Um, so go down to the bottom now, my hierarchy. Refresh it again. Uh, so I didn't rename the hierarchy, um, but I could have renamed that. So I've got my alarm, so that should be result in my alarm console. So I can double click on that now, and that's got um, my alarms. This is the whole thing is the console. Uh, in my schedules, I've got all my different schedules that I set up. And in my boiler points, I've got all my boiler points. So you see that, you know, it doesn't take that long once you get a, an understanding of how all these queries work, all these level definitions. Um, you can set these hierarchies up pretty quick. You can very, it's easy to duplicate them and make small changes and things like that as well. Um, so what, once you've, uh, once you set hierarchies up, when you come to set and user roles up, um, you, uh, you assign those, you assign the hierarchies here so you can select which hierarchies they can see and which ones they can't see on each user role. And then a role gets added to a user. Okay. So, um, that really ends this lab uh, on uh, hierarchy. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe at the bottom and uh, click on like. See you next time. Bye.